Hi, I'm glad to see you at current section. We are going to speak about recommendation systems here, and we will start from theory as always. So what does it mean at all? Recommendation system is a subclass of information filtering system that seeks to predict the rating or preference a user would give to an item. Recommender systems are used in a variety of areas, and here are some examples. Playlist generators for video and music services. Suppose that almost everybody knows what is Netflix today. Products recommenders for online stores. Amazon uses its recommendation system widely to propose you some products. Content recommenders for social media platforms. As you probably guess, Facebook is using different recommendation system algorithms to recommend you some content that you would like. Generally, all recommendation systems can be divided into two big groups collaborative filtering and content-based filtering. While searching information about recommendation system, you will probably meet rather popular table example with users and movie items. Let's use it also, why not? And let's also fix our conversation to that user's movie example. So here you can see users that put some marks to some films, but not for all. Formally, the task of building recommendation system comes down to the next guess what marks the user will put at empty cells. And then you would be able to recommend highly rated position to him. But it is easier to say than to do. Let's return to collaborative filtering and its definition. Collaborative filtering is based on the assumption that people who agreed in the past will agree in the future and that they will like similar kinds of items as they like in the past. The system generates recommendation using only information about rating profiles for different users. But locating users with a rating history similar to the current user, they generate recommendations using the neighborhood. That was a boring scientific definition. And now let's return to our example with the user and movies and try to explain it in a human words. So collaborative filtering tries to find similarity to user's behavior. Please look at user 1 and user 2. Seems they are similar as they both like first, second and third items, and together with that they both missed fourth, five and six items. From another side they put the similar high marks for the same films. As you can see the user 1 put 5 for the first item, second user put 4, the same marks are for the third item. So taking into consideration that similarities we can assume that second user will put either 4 or 5 for second item. Problem of that approach is next. First of all, it is not so easy to find similarities. Then it is mostly not possible to recommend at least something for new users and it is also called the cold start problem and another problem is that we can often get some trivial recommendations. Let's return to another type of recommendation system and it is called content-based filtering. Content-based filtering methods are based on a description of the item and a profile of the user's preference. These methods are best suited to situations where we know data on an item but not on the user. Content-based recommendation system treat recommendation as a user-specific classification problem and learn a classifier based on an item's features. So that was again a boring scientific definition. Now let's return to our table with users and movies and try to explain it in human words. For example, Item 1, 2 and 3 are comedies with USA origin and a Spanish language and 4, 5, 6 are actions. First user definitely like comedies, then actions. So let's find another films with common features and recommend him. That's how it works in a simple words. Content-based filters is not perfect also. Here we have next problems, trivial recommendations again, cold start problem, it is the same, and bad recommendations for non-typical objects. So what is the current solution? It is hybrid systems that are using both approaches at the same time, and it is the last trend in the market. But what is the most interesting is that still there is not a lot of information about how to realize such a system. Such systems are very computationally intensive, and I will explain in a moment what does it mean. And another essential thing is that they are very complex for understanding and debugging. At first, you had to be really good at math, especially at linear algebra course. SVD or a singular value decomposition is a very popular solution for building recommendation system nowadays. 
In a simple words, we are creating some huge matrix with all user parameters and all film parameters. Now I suppose you understand why it would be very computationally intensive. Then we decompose that matrix at three another matrices using the SVD algorithm. That allows us to reduce the number of features while retaining the maximum amount of information. And then we are able to get our predictions vector, in that case it is R, using some scalar multiplication operations. I know that it is already sounds complicated, but that is only the beginning. The deal is such decomposition is not unique from math perspective and moreover, to perform it we need to replace empty values from our R matrix, and it is rather sparse, as you can guess, with some optimal values. And to achieve that we need to perform optimization algorithms. And here is where machine learning comes. People that have a deal with machine learning will for sure recognize familiar optimization formulas. To resolve optimization problems we have to use gradient descent or alternatively square algorithms. Now you know why it is complex and computationally intensive and time consuming. But let's leave math for a while. I want to show you that classical example equal user movies and classical solutions are not always good for some special areas. Let's assume that we have to build recommendation model for some marketplace. If you don't know what a marketplace is, don't worry, we will fix it now. Marketplace is a type of e-commerce website where product or service information is provided by multiple set parties. In general, because marketplaces aggregate products from a wide array of providers, selection is usually more wide and availability is higher than in vendor-specific online retail stores. Good examples of marketplace are Uber and BNB, Upwork, and we will choose our own example for studying purpose, and that would be an online house cleaning marketplace. So we will have customers that want to clean the house from one side, and some companies or private persons that would provide house cleaning services. As I already said, classical solutions are not always easy to project at some new things. So what are specific problems in our case? Users are mostly using cleaning from time to time, so it is rather rare operation and it is completely not like with movies. We don't have enough data and it is hard to gather it, that is mostly a problem of marketplace by itself and the way it works. While having lack of data, the optimization problems would be even more painful in case using SVD and machine learning approaches. From another side, hard to make some correlations between different users as we mostly don't know a lot about them and it is hard to get such info. There is only some order form, mostly, so we have only some parameters and that parameters can be changeable. So what is the rating in that case? Maybe we can project the rating for performed work. Another point is that what is the content of item in that case? Generally, we can't make parallel here easily also Maybe that can be our company or executor. Hard to say. It is not so easy to make a projection here equal with film's content also. And the last one, but from my point of view is rather essential point, is that we don't want to start with some complicated solution. But sometimes we simply have to look at problem from a new angle. Let's try to reformulate the problem. We want to recommend some executors to customers. But what does it really mean in our case? In our case, we have some order parameters from customers and from another side we have some performed work from executors. That's all that we really have. So how to resolve the problem? Let's make some task definition and define our requirements. So we are going to build recommendation systems that should be able to find the best executors having some input parameters from customer at one side and execution historical data from another side. Our system should be flexible and easily scaled. And our recommendation model should to be able to start to work even with small amount of data, equal several thousand final orders would be enough. We also put a requirement that it should be fast and it also should to be less complicated than machine learning solutions. We also want it to be comprehensible for debugging and analyzing. So how can we resolve all that problems? As you can guess, our solution would be based at Elasticsearch, as that is a course about Elasticsearch engine. I am going to prove you that we are able to build recommendation system for our marketplace in a rather fast way, and that solution would be rather clear for understanding and debugging. So let's build recommendation system for our house cleaning marketplace using Elasticsearch.